Hello and welcome to this video by Menekes Elektrotechnik GmbH and Co. KG. In this video, we will show you how to connect the Amtron Professional Plus and Amedio Professional Plus charging station to a back end via GSM. This requires the charging system to be installed. For the configuration, you will also need a laptop with administrator rights and a USB or Ethernet cable. The charging system's integrated wireless modem is used to connect a charging system to a back-end system via GSM. The plus sign in the product name of the professional charging systems indicates that they have an integrated wireless modem. Please note, devices without an integrated wireless modem can be connected in master satellite mode. The back-end connection is then established via a master charging station with an integrated wireless modem. You will also need an M2M SIM card and the login details for the backend. Both are available from your backend provider, for example, ChargeCloud. When connecting to a backend via GSM, make sure that the charging system is installed in a location with good mobile network coverage. With the device disconnected from the power supply, insert the SIM card into the micro SIM card slot of the ECU charge control. The micro SIM card slot of the Amedio Professional Plus charging station is located on the left ECU. Please refer to the operating and installation instructions. You can now switch on the charging system, connect your laptop to the charging system and then open the web interface. Navigate to the Network menu tab and set the Show Modem configuration parameter to Show. Now enter the parameters Access Point Name, APN APN Username and APN Password using the information you received from the backend provider. The additional parameters seen here are optional. If the use of the SIM card requires an additional PIN, enter it in the SIM PIN field. The strength of the mobile signal can vary depending on the location in which you have installed the charging system. The modem usually automatically selects the network mode, LTE, 3G or 2G, and network operator. If the mobile signal drops, you may need to adjust the configuration settings. You can use the network mode parameter to set the network mode for the modem yourself. Then confirm the configuration settings by clicking the Save button. Now click on the Back End menu tab and set the connection type to GSM. Give the control an OCPP charge box identity. Warning! The charge box identity is the unique name of the charging station and must match the ID in the backend for identification. Consult your backend provider for this as well. Make sure you enter all uppercase, lowercase and special characters correctly. A space also counts as a character. The OCPP mode parameter is used to specify whether the backend communication will be based on the SOAP or JSON OCPP protocol format. Please configure this according to the backend specifications. Next, enter the backend URL you received from your backend provider. Then confirm the configuration settings by clicking the Save button and restart the charging system. You have now finished configuring the charging station. To establish a backend connection, you will also need to configure the backend system itself. After restarting, it may take a few minutes to establish a connection depending on the network coverage. You can check whether your charging system has connected to the back end by selecting the Dashboard menu tab and the Connection Status Back End parameter.